Hi. I see someone in here. Who's in here? Can you see me? Can you see me, Sensei? I'm having some technical difficulties. Are you able to see me? Hi, everybody. I see people are starting to come in. Are you guys able to see me? Okay, great. Thank you. All right, so let's get the party started. Um, well, today um, it was pretty hot outside, and um, I think I've mentioned before that I normally, in my everyday life, I don't really wear um, like foundation and stuff. I usually try and do um, just concealer under my eyes and do like fresh face. Um, but you know. A lot of products that just came out, like the all the cream bronzers that are out and the cream cheeks. So I just wanted to incorporate a face that was light, but, you know, still kept a natural look and just like a fresh, warm, bronzy look. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and show you guys today. Um, so my face is freshly washed, moisturized and all that stuff. Um, hey, Monique. Um, my brows are already done. Um, so um, the big um, piece of today's look was my Chanel bronzer. Um, I didn't really set anything either. So it was just a really nice look. And I, I didn't feel like doing much anything. I had a whole bunch of errands going on. Um, so, but I still wanted to look cute while I was doing it. So. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I don't know if anybody's interested in what I use to, um, you know, do my um, my face, but I have the products here just in case you want. I can show them um, all my skincare stuff that I use um, in the summertime. How's your guys' day today?
Yeah, it was really just like I said, for me, it was an errand day. I can't remember how to pin these chats. I forgot how to, um, oh, never mind. Nope, that's not it. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Indecent. All right, guys. So I'm just going to start off with the cream bronzer and um, just tap it in. And um, I didn't I didn't set anything either. So um, just apply the bronzer where you want to be bronzed. And then um, blend it. Hi, Shy. <laughs> so I said, who is this new woman? It's the woman that didn't feel like doing her hair, so she slept on that good old wig. It's my uh my um quarantine ha um hat. And for any spots that were like still um, a little harsh, I was using my fingers to blend it um, again because I was I'm not going to use powder. So I was just going around the edges and blending it with the warmth of my hand. Oh, I know how to do some hair now. Um, that was my, before I got into makeup, that was my first love. So I was been doing hair since I was nine years old. I mean, and I'm talking about hair from like bleaching. Um, kids hair, my mama was a, um, a kitchen stylist and um, my great grandmother used to make hair products. So that's in my bloodline. Like um, I've been watching and learning and um, doing hair since really, really young. From from braid, I, anytime you see a hairstyle as, as done by me at home, um, I, I can braid my own hair, cut my own hair, color my own hair. So, um, all right. So the next product I used was the um, the Les Bedges, um Healthy Glow um, Highlighting Fluid. Oh, this scarf, where did this scarf come from? I'll link it in, I'll link it. I, I have it in my email. Uh, it's not raining out here. Well, not, not as of yet. So I just took some of the, um, this highlighting fluid, um, put it on my fingers and um, just tapped it on the high points of my face. So mostly everything is really being done with the one brush in my hand. Y'all see that glow? Mm, mm -mm. Yeah, I know. I see a lot of y'all like the scar, so I'll link it. It was really, it was, an, it was inexpensive, and they always be, um have discounts, and they have pretty, pretty colors. Um, but short hair maintenance. I'm OCD about a lot of um things, so. If my hair doesn't look right, I have to make it look right. 
Highlight Maiden. That is Chanel. Um, this this highlighting fluid. I got it when I got the um the um the bronzer. So I got the high Milo. I got um the foundation. Um here, let's see. I, I'll link I'll link all the products down below. Um and and I just to let y'all know, I the reason why I came up with this on the fly, Marlo liked my picture and I was hype. <laughs> I'm like, oh, she loved my 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 picture <laughs> on IG. Um, so I was like, oh, I could just show them how I do this. Thank you. This is this is the look when you when you want to look like you're doing something and you didn't really do anything because this is really simple. Like I, if I snatch this off right now, y'all will be on the floor because I I'll, I'll, I'll be bad enough to do it <laughs> underneath this this headpiece. I look like a Dragon Ball Z character. All right, so like I said, I didn't really set anything. I left it really um glowy, and um I was able to do a, get a nice build going with the um with that Chanel bronzer. Um, so you could stop right here, um, and be cute, pop on a lip gloss, or or even do like a nude lip, um, if you wanted to, you know, if you had somebody where to really go and you wanted to put it together, but really glowy, really beachy vibes, like. Just chill. Um, but I did take the, you know, I, I'm going to take it up a little bit um, and do a little something on the eyes. So we're going to pull out the old, um, well, not old, the, but it's going to be my old faithful because it was literally just a one and done. Um, I popped on, what is this? Um, Twilight Bronze. I just swept it across my lids with my fingers. Just to keep that um, same vibe going. Really bronze, really like golden and um, healthy looking. <laughs> Hi, babe. <laughs> Uh-huh. And then um I just took the excess um from the bronzer or you could tap a little bit more into it and um yeah I know how I told you I like to scope out my um the shape of my nose to really define it and I, I just did it with the bronzer. Um and then also use that to kind of blend out and give me like some definition in the eye area. So I just I just took it up right on the side and swept it into my brow. And then just sweep it across again to give you that def you know the dimension on your eye. It's a whole vibe. And I just always take the excess and then you know, get around um, the sides. So really simple. And it, and it this this bronzer does the work for you. It literally just blends right on out. I didn't do any concealer um, because I've been really enjoying um, the way my skin has been looking, um, all the hard work I've been putting in with I'm making sure that I'm doing, I'm, I'm being diligent with my skincare. And so I really was, you know, and have been really enjoying how it's coming along. Um, I do get rashes. I do get butterfly rashes um, from, you know, having the lupus. So sometimes I have like all these like red bumps here, but I've been again, really diligent doing my self-care Sundays. Today I did it. I did it today, but normally it's the Sundays. Um, I shave my face um, so that skincare can get right into the good skin that I needed to get to. Um, 
So I'm really, I'm really happy with the progress of that. It says, <laughs> I can't remember how to put the um the comments up on the top. This is the um Chanel bronzer sensor. Self care is very important. This is the three ninety five um tan deep bronze that just came out. The one they made for the darker skin. I mean, I don't really think it's gonna get much um, use to anybody that's too much darker than me. Um, but you know, if you, if you are able to use it and able to, um, you know, get it to work for your skin, it is a good product. Um, again, I didn't set and I had it on all day. I didn't get, um, shiny. I do have a uh, normal, um, dry, dry skin. So, but it didn't really, I didn't get any excess dew or anything like that. Thank you, Marlo. Um, oh, so then I also, um, took the um that's i got the wrong one y'all but i'm just gonna skip the cream bronze i um i did do a, um a little bit of the cream um blush but i i picked up the orange one i mean i guess i could use it who gives a crap that bronzer is good and and just like you were saying and i love that um um marla was talking about in her um live that um Dior powder, no powder. I use number six um, to do my bronze. If if you're oily, um, but you don't want to have a mattified look and you want to remain, this will be a good product to go ahead if you get a, this in a bronzer shade to pop on top of the Chanel to keep that same vibe, that same do um, like fresh face, um, you know, not too mattified, but not, you know, slipping and sliding all over the place. This would be a great one to just pop on top. I'll pop it on top of you um, just to show you guys. It really just melts right into the skin. And then really, it is, it's not going to mat me down, but it's going to set that um, cream in place. This is number six, six N. And then for my blush, I'm going to use the, um, what did I use? I think I used Nude Venus from, um, oh no, I didn't. I used Nymphet um, from um, Pat McGrath and just put some on the high points. So again, trying to keep it really fresh um, I popped it up top a little bit, just between, um, just to give a little bit of color, but not too heavy, just but to keep that same vibe, because that's another product that is, um, you know, gives a little bit of that glow, so it's not going to match you down or anything, and you're not going to look, <clears throat> you know, like I said, overly slick, <laughs> like you're about to go fry some chicken on your face. And I just to kept it, I kept it high. Um not to drag my face down. Again, we're trying to have that um, that beachy look. You could pop some on your nose. Yeah, I I did. I have three, four, and five in that um, Dior because I love it so much. Um, three under the eye four all over the face. I skipped five because I like, you know, it's about to be about to be tanning. So I didn't want to get something that was not going to uh, show up through the full, you know, summer. Cause I get, I, I burn really, really easy. Thank you. Thank you. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I took the Pat McGrath um, liner and I kind of just smudged that um, black coffee on the top. Depend and again, depending on, you know, if this is just like errands or wherever you're going. Um, but if you needed to go in the office for this look, if you wanted to pop your little lashes on, I just lined it really quickly. Just to give some, again, some more definition on the eye. 
and I'm not being, um, you know, neat about it. Right, so whatever your shade is, shy for the um the powder no powder. I just I went up two shades, so I'm four. I went to six to bronze, and I'm just gonna take a little um pencil brush and just uh, smudge it out a little bit. Going back into the palette. Um, it's not the right one. I'm just taking some of that shade just to pop in my inner corner. And that was just that one shade I didn't do, you know. So these are really nice to just slide on your um to slide on your lid and go. All right, let me just take off this um. Well, I don't have to take it off. I don't know if you get, what do you guys want to see? Do you guys want to see how this will look with like a new lippy or just the lip gloss that I had on? I used the bite earlier. I used the bite beauty lip gloss cause it has like the little glitter in it. Um, and sugar drizzle. Um, another good one will be the new Pat McGrath, um, and earth angel. This is bomb by itself or with the brown liner. Yeah, I can't go out with a whole face of makeup in the summertime. It's too hot. And mm -mm. <laughs> it's too hot. And I wanted something like quick that that looked effortless. And that's the way, that's the vibe that I always go for normally anyway. A lip combo. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Oh, you know what's cute? The Patrick Ta. Patrick Ta, oh, she's single with my Limitless Brown from Makeup Forever. And I'll top it with one of those um, iridescent glosses. And right now, I just had on that um, one of those little Laneige lip glosses to keep my lip moisturized while I got ready. That Sephora um, foundation is nice. Actually, I have, I have it right here. I got my whole I got my whole Sephora collection, my whole Sephora squad over here because I keep this handy in the clutch. The bronzer, micro smooth, that under eye setting powder, no joke. Yeah, I don't I, I don't go outside with I mean I mean if I'm going somewhere, yeah, I I'll put on makeup. Um I can, you know, I you know, if I wanted to, but I usually try and go out looking, you know normal like normally like myself real light um yeah i'm if i was if i was still in the office i probably would be slaying fit like i would go and i would do my face and everything but um hi buddy my son is in here y'all Yeah, but I um I, I work at home, so who I'm slaying for the kids, <laughs> for the homeschool. <laughs> this is the uh, Makeup Forever um Limitless Brown Artist Color Pencil. These are my favorite.
Well, yeah, I mean, I do it after, you know, after work and I do it and I post pictures on Instagram, but I'm not, um, today I had to run out quick, do some errands. <laughs> he better, oh, he, no, he's a good, he's a good kid, Monique. He's, I, I lucked up with that one. He was my, he's my firstborn, no problems from the gate. He wasn't a crier. He you know, he people didn't even believe that he was my child. That's how polite he was. They was like, whose kid is this? Oh, that's cute. I think I'm gonna top it off with the. Mm, what did I do with it? Oh, it's right here. Um, my shade in the um is the 35 N in the Sephora Best Skin Ever. It's just a it's a one eye um, a one shade um lock. It's the Pamagrass um the new quad and the um it's the Twilight Bronze shade. I I used, I literally just tapped it on my finger and took the cream bronzer and swept it through the um the crease backwards. <laughs> Daquan, get out my lab, boy. All right, so I'm gonna top this off with the um, Patrick Ta. She's expensive gloss, and these are good. I don't, I don't hear a lot of people talking about them, but they're really good. They're really um, creamy. I feel like I'm forgetting something. <laughs> but this is literally all I did earlier um, when I was running out. I went to run some errands on to the store. But, and it, it's not slippery or sticky on my face. Not There's nothing transferring from like the bronzer or the, um, I know I have to go get it tomorrow. I'm going to get the Patrick Ta, um, because that's my vibe. I did put on blush shy. I put on, the Nymphette, you, um, I popped it on the like high points right here. You can, can you see? I'll darken it. Oh, please thumbs up. I would really greatly appreciate it. I'm using that same brush, just the one brush look, <laughs> that same. Um, brush I use for the bronzer. And I just, I tap the blush. That's the way I feel like I get the most pigment from it without, instead of sweeping it. And if I find any harsh lines, then um, I'm just using my fingers, guys. I, I really, I'm a firm believer that those are your best tools um, than any brush. Cause that warmth in your, um, the warmth from your body and then your fingers is just gonna help to blend everything out. Is that better with the blush? You yeah, can see it better now. I do have Cherish. <clears throat> if you wanna amp up the um, that Chanel highlighter, I'll grab, I'll, I'll grab the, um, the new one. I really love this. I'm trying to find something to put it on with. Oh, I can do nails too. <laughs> I 
I didn't do these, but I'm gonna I'm fill them tonight. Um, hi, hi, I'm um, Jamila. Yeah, I have, I have, I have the whole shebang. If, I wish I could show you my show, um, but I'm I'm pulling the Marlo. I don't have no pants on. <laughs> Um, but I literally, I literally have like full hair, pro like full big containers of hair products. I have all products for nail supply, like nails, um, nail supply um, products. <laughs> it's like a whole one-stop shop in here. It is. I love it. And I feel like you... and. Yeah, you guys saw I didn't do anything, but it looks like I did something. And there's no concealer up here. I probably could have color corrected. Yeah, that's the um that's the Pat McGrath highlighter. I love it. It's it's so easy. The products are so easy. I was gone and if I would have put any kind of concealer under my eye, these um the bright fixes, um I probably could have used it around my mouth because I'm starting to get like a little darkness around here um, to color correct that. But I have peach and honey um, and right with my finger, dab it on out. Thank you. No, you have to go back and get that highlighter. It's really good. It's not, it's not, I have the other one. I don't have the, the hockey puck. <laughs> As, as um try put it in her video, but I have the other one, um the gelé formula. But I like this one better. I really do. How long we been on here, y'all? Oh, they don't tell me. And I ordered the um the Dior bronzer. Oh, that's it. See, this is so quick when you when you on the go when you you got somewhere to go when you got something to do but you're still trying to look cute, especially for the summertime. Oh, also for that Chanel bronzer, I took some earlier because <laughs> it said it. You said you can mix it into your moisturizer and um. So I took the bronzer and I was just, I swept it across with my brush. And I just um, swirled it around my chest and on my, um, <clears throat> cause I'm not tan just yet. Um, took some of that and put it there. And the same thing with the um, the highlighting fluid. I just took a little bit and popped it on my shoulders. And just blended it out with the brush. Well, I didn't use this brush, but um, I don't know if y'all can see if it's catching. But um, outside it was really pretty. <clears throat> oh, see, I didn't get that. I don't have that. Um, the hockey puck. Um, but yes, um, these work. These this um, they work great on the skin. Very easy to work with the um the healthy glow bronzer and the highlighting cream. These is gems. And the highlight the highlighting cream is in this um the shade sun kissed. But I don't really think it matters because, again, you could just layer something on top of it if you want to, you know. Right. It was so cute. Again, when you wear your sundresses and, you know, your tank tops, just pop it across your chest. Um, the same thing with the highlighter. It gave me the same effect. And you could just take the excess. You know how sometimes excess comes out the top. <clears throat> just glowy.
What do you mean, uh, Sun Serae? The what? What powder? Oh, I have the the loose powders. I have 30 and 40. But again, I'm not setting anything um, because I am normal dry. I'm not going to get oily. I mean, I can set it. I did set today with um, just to show you guys that it, that Dior powder, no powder, was not going to take away any of that glowy um, effect from your face, but it was still going to set your powders and stuff in place. Um, I set the highlighter with the Pat McGrath's um, Golden Nectar Highlighter and then set the bronze with the Dior um, powder, no powder, and number six. And then um, my blush was the Pat McGrath um, Nymphette. I got to leave these here so I can make sure I put it or everything in the description bar. Um, again, if you want to put, if you want to amp this up, you could um, take some of uh, your your um, bronzer, go underneath the bottom of your um, lash line, smoke it out. Um, let me hit, let me hit some um, mascara for you guys. Thank you. I love I love the um um Chanel loose powder. I haven't tried Huda yet. Um What loose powder do I like the No. <laughs> loose powder for my face. $15. <laughs> this right here is no joke. I'm telling y'all. If you don't have it, you need to just, it's what you what, if you can go out and get Kosas and Charlotte Tilbury, fifteen dollars. What's the lose? You're gonna not use it. I mean, all the powders that you have, you never, you're never gonna finish any of them anyway. Fifteen dollars. It's, you know, this reminds me of the Bobby Brown, or even the Derma Blend. I don't know if y'all know, but um, probably not because I didn't tell you. <laughs> I used to, I used to do a little bit of um, makeup um, for other people. I'm going to, just for fun, I'm going to pop a little bit of concealer. I, I, I went to Ulta last night, y'all. Hold on. I got a fresh beauty blender. I'm going to put a little concealer on, and then I'm going to set it with that um, Sephora. Pop. It's just translucent, and it doesn't really give, it doesn't get flashback. It's so finely milled. It has this, like, ivory-ish, I don't know. Hold on. See, I don't think the light is going to kill it. Can you see it near? Wait. It's like an ivoryish color. Oh, from Ulta. I'll show you guys. It was nothing crazy. I was trying to find something for the summer um, collab. Trying to find an eyeshadow. I, it was a dud, but I got some eyeliners. But I'll show you guys what I got. Let me, um, I'm going to show you how this powder looks under my eye. I'm going to put on a little bit of the Fenty concealer just to do it. Oh, <laughs> and why well, it gotta be a cheap one? Because you got me in the stores heavy. <laughs> the reason why I got Chanel, shy. The reason why I got the Dior, shy. I'm just using my um, Caudalie Beauty Elixir to wet my sponge a little bit. I get influenced by anybody. If I see it and it looks good, I'm in the store. Lori got me with the... Uh, um, AJ Crimson, that'll be here tomorrow. All right, so I'm gonna just this is the first closest thing to me the Fenty um, concealer. I'm not gonna do too much. Oh, the bronzer, the micro smooth setting powder. Sephora, these are good. These are good. 
I think this is better. Wait, this one is better than the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, and the price point is like half price, half of that price. Oh, <laughs> let me blend this out. Okay. Um, and the mineral, I am 40 matte tan. Okay. I'm going to do one side with the beauty blender of the powder. So I just put it on my brush and then I tap the excess on my hand. Um, let me get a fluffy brush. Y'all see that? This is a side with no powder. It looks a little light. Um, probably because I used the um the sponge. So Powder side, no powder side. Daquan, can you pass me um that brush over there? <laughs> Just pass me a handful of brushes, boy. Um, I love these. I have. I get a whole bunch of them. I'm gonna link them in the description bar. Um. So you can um, look on the site, but she always she usually has sales. Um, during the pandemic, she had it where it had the I have the matching mask. So, <laughs> um, I was just again trying to still look appropriate when I was leaving out. I know we were talking about that in uh, Monique's live about going outside, making sure you still look appropriate. Now, like I said, underneath all this, I look crazy. Um, but I'm not gonna let y'all, you know, I'm not gonna let y'all know. I'm not gonna go outside like that. So anybody else know. Um I got powder all over my day on shirt. Uh, yeah, I have the I have the Charlotte. I mean, I basically have all the powders. I have Charlotte Tilbury. I have Coast Coast Um, what else? I have the Pat McGrath. I have the Chanel. Um, what was that? Girl? I have Fenty, um, but I, I don't know. I reach for this. I, I don't know if it's coming across to you guys, but it 
it's like it, it does i feel like it filters it it like you can't so i have pores um in this area it it it, it I can't see my po like I I don't see them anymore. It's soft. It's finely milled. It it just blends right in. Um, you know, I we were I was talking about that earlier. Um, I feel like after uh, you know after a certain error, you know, um, those lessons weren't really taught about you know um going out going outside um you know i know just speaking from my upbringing you didn't go outside if you you had to wear your clean under under undergarments and there can be no holy messed up dingy nonsense you couldn't go outside unless your clothes were ironed your hair was combed <clears throat> and you were you know bathed and you you had to step outside a certain way What is that, the Charlotte Tilbury, the um, the press powder, Marlo? This, I'm telling you, this powder is everything. 15 bucks. You can't beat it. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I have, um, what do I have, two and three. And then I also have the bronzer. I like them. Um, but I, like I said, these things are just always sitting out. And every time I see them, I always reach for, I reach for them because I know it's like it's like my try to, like my ride or die. I'm, I'm actually putting a video together about that. Um, like my ride or die, um, things that it doesn't matter what's in front of me. I don't, it doesn't matter if it's luxury or drugstore. I, I know that it's going to work. It's not going to fail me. Um, I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab, you know, those. And those three, those Sephora ones, the bronzer, I could pop those on, spray my face real quick and go. Oh, and by the way, there was no setting spray. This is, this is the glow just from the products. I'm gonna really be enjoying this um the Chanel the Chanel um bronzer all summer long. I'm not mad at the I'm not mad at the fifty what I think it was fifty two dollars or something like that. I'm not mad at it at all. Um, hi Coco. I'm trying to think of anything um, else. I mean, I don't really think there's nothing else to be done with this face. Like I said, I could pop some of the bronzer underneath. I could pop on a lash for you guys to see if we could just keep taking the look up. Um, but this is one of those looks that you're going to be a showstopper. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what level you took it to. I'm gonna just pop some of the bronzer underneath my. I know, but that's why I've been using. I'm, I'm like, I'm gonna get my money's worth. I'm using it on my body. Uh, I'm using it. Like I said, I put it on all over my shoulders, all over my chest area to match, you know, the bronze that was going on on my face. Like I, I use it in my crease. Um, you could probably use it as a base for. If you're doing some kind of um, like even this, like you could have put this on as a base and then topped it with the um, one of those Charlotte Tilbury. I'm sorry, not Charlotte Tilbury, Pat McGrath eyeshadows to make them stand out a little bit more. I, I, just, I just try and be creative and try and find other ways of using things because just because it says it is for one thing doesn't mean you can't use it for something totally different. Oh. What did I get? I didn't again. I didn't really get anything crazy at Ulta. I got a beauty blender, um, because I'm a beauty blender chick. <laughs> um, I got a I got a big girl mascara. Um, 
because <laughs> I, I I be buying the cheap mascaras, but I was like, oh, I'll get this. It's, they had um the big one and the little one, um, in a set. For, I think it was like twenty six bucks or something like that. Um, whatever I bought, they they gave me this for free. So it's a uh, Shiseido Tory Burch makeup bag. It's really pretty. Um, I mostly got a bunch of samples. Oh, um. And a bunch of eyeliners. I was real good yesterday, y'all, because I'd be going in the store and then it'd be like, okay, that was my check. Oh, I, I got a um like a Kish lash glue liner. I wanted to try that. So maybe I'll try that with you guys. I wanted to try this because I, I, I hate waiting for the glue to dry. And I got a bunch of these fun, bright, neon color eye pencils. Oh, and I picked up the Juvia's Place eye base to see how, the, how I like that. But we're doing that summer collab, so I was trying to find some fun colors to pop in my waterline for the look. I wanted an um, eyeshadow palette. I did pick up one from Juvia's Place. I watched The Conjuring last night. Um, I got my, I got the um, Urban Decay Primer Potion, just in case I wasn't feeling the dubious place. That was it. It was real light. I didn't really do anything crazy in there, but I did pick up this bronze rustic dubious place palette. I used to use the um, the primer portion back in the day, um, but normally you want to know what I use. I was I was trying to like you know check back some of the old goodies that I used to love, but I use this, y'all. Another one that's I, again I'm I'm a I'm a um I use my hands a lot. I use the Nars Soft um, Matte Concealer. Um, this is what I pop underneath my brow. I just take my finger. It brings out so easily. It'll cut the crease. No problem. It's not sticky. It's very creamy, so it's easy to move across your lid. And if I don't use that, then I'm going to take it back, back, back to my MAC paint pots. Um, but I wanted to try the Juvia's Place. Uh, I see Dr. Ash using it all the time um, and a couple of other influencers use it. And I was like, oh, what is it about? Um, it wasn't that expensive, so. Um, well, we're doing that summertime collab thingy, and they said that we got to get real bright and stuff. I really wanted to do something green. And I didn't find anything that I like. So if all those fails, we have Zendo and Circo Loco in the back here. I'll find some colors to put together. But I was messing with this last night. This pink ain't, this pink is no joke. Oh, I got powder on my hands. Hold on. Pink on. I don't even know what it is. I think it's like hot pink. Orangey, I don't know, but whatever this is, I think it's like orange. Yeah, I said if all else fails, then I'll use this, um, and I'll find something to do with it. I'll swatch the colors. Oh, this is cute. I'm, I, I'm, I'm still trying to get my swatch game. <laughs> Oh, I don't, it's not, hold on, because the light, I think the light is not, um, this orange here, the orange here does not look like this. It looks, um, like a pumpkin orange. I don't know why it's coming off like that. Uh, 
Oh, tonight, Coco. This is the Pat McGrath. Um, I just used the one shade with my finger and just swept, swept it across my lid. Took the bronzer, um, the leftover bronzer on my brush from the Chanel cream bronzer and just swept it up into my crease like that. Um, so there's that's only one shadow. Um, only dark green from one of the other Juvia's Place palettes I have. The other ones I have like berries and purples and chocolate and um I need one of those like rainbow. And that's why I was I was look I was watching Dr. Ash because I'm like she be having all the colors. Um trying to get an idea. But again, some of the indie brands you have to be careful with shipping. I mean, not that I would still use it after that, but I'm just saying like if I needed something right now. I'm probably gonna have to find it in the store just to be safe. Oh yeah, I tried that too. Um, using one of the Pat McGrath blushes in my um, crease. <clears throat> Cause you know how they would, I was, again, I, I watched the videos cause I like to learn and try and find ways to incorporate some of these um, crazy things into my everyday. Um, like, I watched her video and they were saying that you can make the Pat McGrath eyeshadows into a lipstick. I tried it on my last video and it worked. So it, it wasn't, cr you know, crusty or anything. Um, but I did take the, I believe it was Paradise Venus. I just didn't, I just didn't post the, vi the, the picture yet. Um, and I took it up, up. Like she said, take it high. They she they posted something the other day when they were showing like, if you if you take it low, it looks like this. But this is how your face is lifted if you take it up. So I took it up high, um, from like here up into the um, hairline, and then I also just took some of it and like um, swept it across into the um, the crease area. Yeah, I can't I can't wait the fourteen days for the indie brands. I'm I'm trying. I, I'm I'm gonna figure it out because I really want to do something green. I mean, if anything, um, you can always I can always take one of these funky liners right here, um, paint that on my lid and set it down with a with a translucent powder. I mean, if you really want to get, and then take a glitter and pop it on top of that. There's there's ways around it. Um, Oh, okay. Thank you, Monique. I'll check that out. Yeah, they, they last all did um those um Pat McGrath blushes, they do last. Um I haven't had any issue. And I um I like I said, I use the padding lotion or I've been um in here messing with, and using my hands for mostly everything I've been mess I'm doing for the last couple of days. Okay, thank you, Sunsway. I didn't put any mascara on. Let me just put some mascara on. Did everybody else figure out their color story? Or y'all gonna wing it? <laughs> when you, but Monique, when you wing it, it, it comes out great. And every every time we get on, I feel like um, the looks are getting like faster, and you're getting so much um, better at them. Cause I, I I don't know for me the I have to be in silence when I'm doing the cook when I'm doing the cook.
<laughs> I know every time she say, oh, that's it. And then she starts another topic. <laughs> But I, really, I love the I love the lives. Um, I love getting to know everybody and hearing everyone's story. Like last night on um, the live with Yadi and Marlo, that was amazing. And you don't realize how much you have in common with so many, um, and it's deeper than just the common love of makeup. I know I can't wait for tomorrow uh, with Marlo and Sh um, Sh and Chai. I'm so excited. I get like I get like so excited like a kid on Christmas when I see somebody's live. I'm like, oh my god, they're live! Oh no, I know that. I know you said you don't want to be like the real. You just as soon as you get the look and get your pictures, you're ready to take it off. I'm the same way. So when I get off, um somewhere around here is my um I can't think of what it is. <sighs> the um why can't I think? You know the the, the cream that you use to take your makeup off. I can't think of the name. The, yeah, I'm in, I'm enjoying all the lies. I'm enjoying hearing, you know. No, what is it? Is the glow is a glow recipe? It's a it's an actual thing. I can't think of it. Where is it? And it was over here too, because I was um filming my um favorites. What um, it's like when you double cleanse, I can't think of the name. It's not the name of the product itself. I'm looking for the type of product that it is. Thank you. Cleansing balm. <laughs> I use the glow recipe one. Um, I tried that out for the Sephora um, haul. I used to use the pharmacy one, but I just wanted to try something different. Um, girl, you're gonna be fine, and you're gonna have you got the queen. You're gonna have the queen of the cut crease right there with you. She got you the whole way. I guess the biggest tip for me for a cut crease. Not that you, you know, you need my advice, but I took my head back um, because I don't know. I feel like when you look down, you get to kind of see like, again, I have to draft out my own crease because I have hooded eyes. So my crease is all the way down here. This is not going to do nothing for nobody to cut this. So if I have to tip my head back. You're going to see where that the definition that I try and use the bronzer for. If you tilt your head, you can see it. Um, and that's your map right there. So if you tilt your head and let the light find it, let the light find the line for you. That's my tip. <laughs> right, and it, it's all and it's all makeup. And it, you know, if you make a mistake, you you just. That's what concealer is made for. Oh, you want me to cut the case? <laughs> Where is my? I'm gonna use my um, Nars. <clears throat> All right. Now watch. I can't find. Uh, Cause I washed my brushes um earlier. Nope. Kwani, 
I need you again, buddy. Give me some more brushes. I'm gonna um so yeah, if you hold your I'm gonna I'm gonna just draw the line so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. I don't care if I mess up. I mean it's not that I mess up anything, because just grab them. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use a, a flat angled brush. This is the Anastasia number 18, or this is number seven, but I like this one because it's angled, but it's a little bit smaller than your traditional flat um, brush like this. So you have less chance of making a mistake. You just go a little slower, um, especially when you're trying to get into the corner. So I'm gonna take this. I usually um, apply the product, um, both sides of the brush to flatten it out, you know, as flat as I could get it, and then scrape the excess on the sides, again, to flatten the brush. Um, and then I tilt my head back and let the light hit where I want to cut because my natural crease is down here. I don't want to cut this. I want to cut this. So if you tilt your head back and let the light fall on it, and you, it doesn't matter where you start because, again, all you're going to do is turn your head to let the light guide you to where you want to cut. Can't see the not a light. The light is beaming off of the. Uh, <laughs> it's beaming off of the um, all the glowiness on my face. You see, you see what I mean. When I tilted my head back, the light fell on that. And again, you don't have to be so precise because you're still gonna. Um, You're gonna drag all this down, right? To you know, put the the color down there. But your line up top is clean. Does that does that make sense? Yeah, it's really simple. Like I said, I watch a ton of videos, but um, I was just thinking about um, if you just take the makeup part out of it and you just think about light and dark. You're gonna sh you want to the crease is gonna be the area that you that's gonna recede, right? But in this instance, you're trying to make it pop. Um, so find your crease and the light's going to fall on that area when you, you know. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And then, I mean, you know, Marlo, she goes really extensive into um, the different shapes of it. But your basic one, if you tilt your head, um, again, all you're going to do is let the light fall where so if you even if you it doesn't matter where you start you can start it from the back and you'll never make it'll never be uneven because you're following the natural shape of your eye just a little bit higher than where the actual fold folds so you're always going to have that even line And the bottom doesn't matter. Only thing you want to matter is the top because you're dragging all the rest of this down and you're going to blend it. And I'm telling you, this um, concealer right here is bay. And because you're using concealer, um, I mean, I didn't, I didn't, you know. <laughs> because you're using concealer, if you mess that up, just blend it off and start it all over again. I mean, if push comes to shove, if like if that's where it's at, just cover up what you did with the concealer, blend it, and then do it again. See? 
I know Marlo, she be going all into these. I, I, I haven't, I haven't dived into that world yet. But again, it's going to be the natural. Your, your, it's gonna be specific to you, to your eye shape. See, this is the Nars Creamy Radiant Concealer. I use the color. I don't know if I'm saying this right. Sucre Dior. But they're so smooth. That's why I said I I I picked these up, you know, the Juvia's Place thing, and I went back to the old, probably just to do like a regular look. But I use this under my eyes. To, I use it to cover up my brow. I use it, you know, I don't use it under the face because I'm dry and I don't need all the heavy stuff underneath my eye. So I, I usually try and use light concealers, but um, this is good. And again, it's so easy to blend out. So I could tap this out with my hand and I'm gold. I'm gold. Retitle my video. <laughs> Um, let's see. <clears throat> Let me here. We're gonna take this. Um, I don't know when my video will start out as one thing, and then next thing you know, it's a whole other thing. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go above that. And again, you're gonna if I see the shape that I, I blended out the line, but my shape is always there. So I'm just going to take the darker color and lightly just go above the area. And this is a um, Morphe M506. And just lightly um, trace above the area that I cut. It's probably the wrong powder to use this. I'm using that powder, no powder, but I'm just trying to make a point. Just real lightly, you see? Siri, mind your business. Siri be all in your business. Anybody else got an iPhone? <laughs> and then just, I'm gonna take the um, concealer again. And then show you when I carve out that um I'm gonna carve out the um the the um bronzer that I just so now you can see it a little stand out a little bit more. And my mirror's far away, so my mirror is like really far, it's like um pushed back. So I'm I'm not I'm looking into the camera and to the mirror, so I'm not being precise at all. So it's really not hard. Just Go, just take your time. And then you, once you get the hang of it and you start doing it, um, You'll be able to do it without even tilting your head. You see? My hands are all dirty. I don't want to mess up the line, but and um the same thing when you're trying to bring back definitely. My hands are all dirty. I don't want to mess up the line, but and sorry, I don't know what I hit on my phone. <clears throat> and if you want to darken out that um the line and define that dark line, I take I have a what is this? 
a Mac 228 or um, um, I'm not really sure what kind of like detailed brushes that you have, but I, it looks like this. It's really small. I probably should have chose a different powder. Because this one is so... Um, what do I have? Oh, I know. It is easy. I'm telling you, I don't, I'm not a cut crease person. I learned when I, I found Marlo a couple of months ago. I learned it from just watching Marlo. And then again, I um just incorporated what I knew about makeup altogether. Again, like things that you want to pop out, you want the light to hit it, things that you want to take away, you're gonna um the the, the dark. So if I again if you tilt your head back, it's just kind of this um I don't want to say like common sense, but you know, again, the light in the dark. You just use the um, use what you have. Um, it doesn't have to be any extensive um, training or anything. I, I this is new to me. I'm I'm being so honest. The, the one that I did for that first live that I did with um, the purple and the pink. That was my first time. I'll take um oh this one. And just always when you it does even when you're doing anything, you always wanna um I guess the easiest way to do it, um I'm I'm comfortable moving forward, but holding your brush at the tip so that way you're not applying too much pressure because once you put something down, it is down, it's harder to take it away. So starting with the light hand um, is the easiest way um, to make sure that you're not going to make a mistake that's going to be too difficult to fix. Um, another um, tip is, that's why I do my um, face before, um, I mean my eyes before I do my face because stabilization in the very beginning is important your face is going to be your stabilization so when you're doing a wing when you're doing a cut crease utilize um your face your pinky your hand you can rest and then let the brush so that way you're not it's, it's not it's not natural something that you didn't do before so until it becomes a natural reflex you that's like when you're riding the bike you have the training wheels my face is the training wheel until I got comfortable. Okay. I hope that helped. Like I'm no I'm no expert or anything. Again, I try things, trial and error. When I if I know how to do something. Um, if I learn how to do something, I'm more than happy to share. So if you want any other tips, if something else you saw me do, um, you want to know about it, you can hit me up. And that's to anybody. Now you got me into this aisle like I'm really going somewhere. <laughs> And the, again, the bottom, that bottom doesn't matter. The bottom doesn't matter at all because you're just going to blend that out with your hands. So, um, oh, what the heck? Okay. I got me on here looking crazy. <laughs> um, Trying to figure out what I could do with this eye now. I'm gonna just take the same color that I put on there earlier, which was that um hit the club. <laughs> My clubbing days are over. I 
got a mess, y'all. I'm about to, I'm about to um, put some brown on there and do it like a, a wing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, another um, tip too is if you need to blend out the line, if you don't want, like if you're trying to smoke it into the other colors, because normally you're going to put down a color before you just start cutting a line. I just cut the line to show you. But if you ever need to like blend this out, you just, um, again, I'm using my face and I just take the brush and I just flick upwards. And then from the stuff that you flicked up, you can blend that out so there's no, you're going to have a harsh line because that's intentional, but you don't want it to be where it's just stark. I don't know if you can see there's like a light shadow um, that I blended it out a little bit. You could, I don't know if you guys can see it. <clears throat> so just light flicks to drag some of the color up. I'm going to I just took some orange. See, I want to drag it down some more, so I just took it away. So yeah, if you make a mistake like I just did, or I wasn't a mistake, but you know what I mean. If you want to correct something, um, just use a concealer to go back on top, take away what you um, want to take away, and then reapply. And it doesn't make it look, um, you know, muddy or anything like that. It didn't do anything. Yeah, I like that better. I'm taking that. Well, I'm going to flick it up first.
And then I'm going to go back into the orange shade that I had and kind of blend. We about to get real fancy, and we gonna double cut crease it, cut crease it. Hi, Kima. Well, this was not planned at all, y'all. This I thought I'm like, oh, I could go on there for 30 minutes. Hi, Fontanara. I can see the orange. Can y'all still see me? Okay. I'm gonna take the um that mustard shade. No, I didn't. 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 I didn
This is the um, Juvia's Place um, bronzed rustic palette. You know what I need, guys? I need to get a, um, a white graphic liner, like a white um, liquid eyeliner um, pen. Yeah, see that color? That color is actually pretty in the um that um Juvia's place palette. Y'all can see that.
Thank you for Tanana. And I'm just going to go back into that. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna use that. Ooh, no, I don't. Oh, I know. I'm trying to figure out what I use because I was playing around at first and I, I wasn't being serious. <laughs> y'all just started me playing. I don't forgot y'all here. Um, the wing is so easy. Yeah, the the wing. Um, I said that on one of my other videos, but an easy way to do a wing, you don't have to drag a line or anything like that. You can literally just um take this line and just tap it across your um um lash line till you get to the end, 
and then you go from that your outer corner V and just draw the line of your desired liking. Um, Cause again, I'm cool with this. I would wear this with a new, like, you know, just the glitter and go outside <laughs> um, with some mascara. I like a, a long wing, but you would just drag it to the um, desired length that you like. And then um, not from, I'll show you. So you see how the tip is all the way up here. I would start to um, go revert back down to my um, line from somewhere like right there. Um, so keep the tip of it sharp. And you just take that, it's kind of like drawing a triangle and just take that line and meet it back to the middle of your eye and then fill in the middle. Again, not about being clumsy. If you use your face for stability, everybody starts in a place of beginning, right? So. Um, it's not normal habits to be doing this. Like no one is, you know, and you know, if you are into makeup, yes, you're gonna get into it. But if you just um, take your hand, stabilize it on your cheek, cause going in like this, yeah, your hair is gonna be shaky. You don't have anything to um, reinforce um, the action, especially if you're trying to draw a straight line. So sit your hand on your cheek um, and then um, and it doesn't have to be one motion. No one's asking you to do like a ooh, and then it's a perfect wing. No, um, I'll, I'll demonstrate on this side. And I'll even just, I won't even look in the mirror. I'll just do it um, looking in the camera. You're just tapping. Just tapping and moving backwards till you get to the end. You don't even have to worry about the beginning yet. You're going to my hand, my pinky is resting on my cheekbone. That way I have stability. My arm is not moving all over the place. And then you're just gonna drag, I'll just do a little one. Drag a, a line out. And if you guys can see this, we'll darken it. Right? <clears throat> and then not from the very tip, but from here, you can see where I marked it out. Then you're just gonna drag that line back into the middle, and then you can fill it in. And then you can clean up any, you know, anything that you want to correct. And this is all with a light hand too. Um, and then the same thing in the front, you start from where you stop. Well, I have to press my lashes down with the pen, but press it down to get to the base. And then just keep going forward. Just stamping. There you go. From day to night now, I mean, we got one side. This is not even blended. <laughs> we done did three videos in one. Yeah, I'm going to get ready to get off here, too. I had so much fun, you guys. I got all lost. I wasn't even, I didn't even remember what I was um, recording at one point. <laughs> so I hope um, you can. Well, first of all, you're going to, um, if you start off with the mindset that you can't do something, that's where, that's where you're going to stop. You know, that's where it's going to be because you already set your mind that you can't do it. So get out of the habit of, you know, stopping yourself before you start and everything takes practice everybody starts from some point um so start practicing again i i didn't get into makeup i didn't know i, I didn't wear makeup I, um all my life i started about seven eight years ago um to the point where i, I taught myself how to do everything so you can do whatever you put your mind to and if you want to learn how to do a wing, then practice. Oh, yeah, I want the last to keep going. <laughs> yeah, by no means that I start off as an expert. Like I said, I had I had to quickly learn. Like I, I started off with just brows because um, I was not going to go outside without any eyebrows. Um, so 
I quickly watched a few videos and that was that's the thing that I get the most compliments on to this day, my brows. And I don't go to a salon to get my eyebrows waxed. I I will mess around in here. I'll sh like I said, this one is halfway shaved off because I intentionally did that. Um, so we we all at a, at our own pace learn in different ways. But if you want to do it, if you're interested in it, if you love it, um, it's only makeup. It washes off. If you mess up, you wash it off and you start again, and again and again. So, but yeah, we're, we're we've been on here for quite a while, you guys. I really really. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for supporting me. Thank you for vibing out with me today. Um, I really had, it was so impromptu. It was, a, it was um, a really a great live. I enjoyed um, sharing and just giving you tips on the stuff that I know about makeup. And we will meet again. I think I'm going to go live again on Monday. So stay tuned for that. It'll be somewhere on my Instagram or um you know, some you'll you'll see the notification. Make sure you click the like, share this video um, with your friends. Follow me on Instagram. I love you all. Thank you so much, and have a good night, you guys. Y'all see the mess that I got going on over here. <laughs>